Hello, my name is Frances Garrett, and I'm the instructor for your Introduction to Classical Tibetan course this semester. I'm going to tell you a few things about how to get started on this course and make sure that you're ready to participate fully in how the class will work. Um, maybe you haven't taken an online class before, so there's a few things that will be a little different, and I'm going to get started by telling you some of the things you need to do to get ready. Um, so first of all, go to uh, Blackboard and make sure you have access to the course and take a look at the syllabus. I have it right here on the screen and I would like you to read it carefully. You can see here the learning objectives for the class if you take both semesters. You'll learn how to do all of these things by the end of the year. Um, the grading scheme then for the first semester is right here and I need you to read that carefully. Um, but first of all, what I need you to really pay attention to at the beginning is these things, um, these items or capacities that you need to have in order to start the course right from the get-go and in order to succeed and participate at all. So first of all, you need to have this book, Translating Buddhism from Tibetan. You should order it right away. Uh, make sure it gets to you by the first week of class because we'll be using it from day one. You can order it online on Amazon or some other um, online bookseller. Um, the second thing you'll need is an account on Quizlet, and I'll tell you about that in a minute. You will need an account on Nettle, which is a piece of software that's been created for this class specifically, and I'll tell you about that in um, a couple weeks when it's ready for you. You'll need a Gmail account for accessing Google Hangouts meetings, and I'll just I'll show you that in a second. If you haven't used these use Google Hangouts before, um, this is how we're going to be uh, meeting each other during the semester. And then these other things are also just as important. You really need to have a good computer that you have access to, you can install things on, and that you can use in a quiet place when you need to meet with us um, on Google Hangouts. You don't want a lot of distractions in the background or a lot of extra noise. It'll be hard for you to hear us and for us to hear you. Um, next you can see the list of weekly units and the schedule of um, uh, things that you're going to learn in the class and quizzes and tests and a little bit uh, on the final exam. So when you're ready, you should check out this section, this module, Setting Up Your Computer. This walks you through some of the steps in a bit more detail. Join the Facebook group, join Quizlet, download some apps if you have a mobile device. This will help you a lot in the first couple of weeks. Um, install some Tibetan fonts and keyboards so you can type Tibetan um, on your computer. And we'll discuss how to do that in the class in a couple of weeks when it becomes relevant. But if you can go ahead and install the fonts and keyboards now, then you'll be ready. And check out Google Hangouts, learn a little bit about it so that when it's time for us to meet, you won't be um, confused about how to get connected. Um, then the tasks checklist on Blackboard will list um, tasks that you have to successfully complete. Um, you should check them off when you've completed them so that I know um, what you've done and what the whole class has done. And these, I'll be adding to these as there are more tasks throughout the semester. The discussion board is where you can ask questions of me or of other students in the course. And the announcements page is where I will make announcements to you about things that are relevant to your learning. So I'll show you um, Quizlet now very briefly. This is a, a web piece of web software that you can use to learn vocabulary. There's going to be a lot of vocabulary memorization in this course. Every week you'll have um, vocabulary quizzes and you have to memorize these words. And Quizlet will really help you do this um, right from the beginning. So with the alphabet even, you can use Quizlet as flashcards. Ha. Ba. Ma. Sa. So that'll help you a lot. You can test yourself. You can do games like Scatter or Gravity. So here, where's the ha? Here's the ha. Where's the cha? Here. And it will time your progress. And you can then also see how you're progressing compared to other students in the class. And I can see 
how the class is progressing. So when I can see all of the exercises and flashcard exercises you've done, and this is an important part of your grade, so it's actually mandatory that you use this piece of software. You can use it on your phone or your device. You can memorize vocabulary while you're on the subway. Um, so this is uh, an important part of your homework. Next, you should um, join or send a request to join this pro uh, closed Facebook group, Classical Tibetan Online. This is where we'll post links to resources online that are of interest, that may be of interest, or that are of importance to learning Classical Tibetan. And finally, the last thing I'll tell you about now is Google Hangouts. I'll just show this to you very quickly. Um, this is how we will meet each other throughout the semester. So we'll be meeting by video conference. So there will be me here on the screen, and then all of you who are participating in a particular video conference meeting, uh, you can be here and ask questions of me, and we can talk about the homework. I can show you things on my screen and help you out um, if you're stuck with any of the assignments. So I'll hang this up, and I look forward to meeting all of you online, and I'm excited about this class. I hope you are too, and I'll be in touch very soon.